Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast for No Surprises. Tonight's big plot dealt with Miles. The episode kicked off with a little skinny-dipping session with Maya until his father and his uh, staff came to the house for a meeting. And, of course, his father is putting Miles down and saying, you know, just things, typical father and son type things. Now, also, there was a family dinner in this episode. We got to see uh, Miles' mother, um, his sister, Frankie, who we've seen previously um, in the Imogen storyline a few weeks ago, and a younger brother, Hunter, who I don't believe we have seen yet. Uh, so there was the family dinner scene. It's it's always nice when they switch it up and we get introduced to new characters and, you know, that whole sort of thing. Um, Miles finds out that his father is cheating, hence the No Surprises uh, episode title. He sends Andrea a fake present from his father, who is his father's advisor. And, of course, his mom already knows another surprise in the episode. Miles confides in Maya about his parents. They tell each other they love each other, and they have a very nice kissing moment on the couch. All in all, I am enjoying this plot. I love Miles and Maya together. Uh, The stuff with his father cheating, you know, I expected that. I also expected that his mom already knew. I am curious to see what will happen as as we see that next week, you know, there's definitely going to be some more developments in his home life. His father um, has Drew sent over to keep an eye on Miles. And of course, a big party will take place. So I do want to see what will happen with that. And, and I'd like to see, you know, maybe some more of uh, Hunter and Frankie, if at all possible. And, and just some more good scenes with Miles and Maya. Also in tonight's episode, Allie in Dallas. Allie is interacting with Rocky at the dot. Dallas sees it. He's very happy that, you know, Rocky is taking to Allie and they're seeming to have, you know, a good friendship. Um, Allie, of course, reveals again that she is not interested. And finally, at the end of the episode, probably my favorite part of the entire episode for the possible plots that could come from it was the ending when Allie reveals a surprise that Leo abused her and Dallas is very upset. Now, I've been wondering all along if we're going to see more of Leo and I really hope we do and I really hope that Dallas somehow is able to get some revenge of sorts. You know, Degrassi tagline used to be it goes there so let's see if dallas can actually you know go there and something uh, shocking can happen i don't think we've seen the last of leo and i really hope not i feel like there is more somehow something that could be done and i feel like they set it up perfectly with dallas so hopefully we will get something um revolving around that in the coming weeks finally claire celebrating six months cancer free Uh, She wants to go bungee jumping, which is very interesting. As far as I can recall on Degrassi, there hasn't been any bungee jumping episodes. I might be wrong. My mind is, you know, foggy over the 300 plus episodes, but I don't think there has been. But either way, it was cool, you know, to see. I kind of wish they actually went bungee jumping. They didn't even show them, um, you know, falling or whatever. They kind of cut away. So I'm guessing they probably really didn't. But it would have been cool if they could have got, you know, them to actually do it. It looked like it might have been at a real place, but I don't know. Uh, Eli cameo, of course, very brief over the computer. Now, here's the one thing I didn't get about the whole plot. They drove separately. So everyone drove separate or... So did Drew come with Connor... And Jenna, I guess on the way there, those three came, but then he wanted to ride home. And I don't know, it was just a really awkward moment. And the previews made it seem like it was more sexually charged, but it wasn't. Their clothes were just wet uh, from the bungee jumping. But, you know, we're going to get more next week on the Claire and Drew. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I do like 
that they're, you know, slowly working to something with Claire in the aftermath of a potential fallout with Eli. I like how they didn't just put her together with someone, you know, right away. Um, and next week, of course, like I said, a wild party and Zoe will be there and all kinds of interesting drama will be happening. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you all next week.